Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Uh, today I'm going to take you through Aloha uh, Tasks, um, which will be setting up a, a new sub menu called Weight Watchers, and we're going to add three items uh, to the Weight Watchers uh, sub menu. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on Maintenance Menu Items. And when I click here, I can see all of the items that are in my uh, uh, menus at the moment. So I'm going to just, these are a type of main. So I'm going to look for a space in the numbers here. So you can see here, I've got 299, 218 to 299. I think I might actually start at 250. Might be a good place to start with the uh, Weight Watchers items. Okay, and then I'm going to press enter and come down here. I'm going to put in just a little heading, so brackets, brackets, uh, Weight Watchers. And that's just a little heading. And I'm going to uh, press enter and it'll go in. So you can see, um, if, if you look here, I've got a little heading here, which is Weight Watchers. Okay, so the next one I'll do is actually put in the first item, which is 251. And in here we'll have uh, Weight Watchers um, Pasta. Now, whatever I put in uh, in the short name is what will actually appear on the EPOS. What I put in as a chit name will appear in the kitchen printer. And what I put in as the long name will actually appear on the guest check. Okay, so in the kitchen they call it Local uh, Pasta. And on the guest check, we want the full long name. So, okay, put in your primary tax. Uh, we can put in a food category in terms of uh, sales. Uh, we can put it in here. That's fine. Uh, that's grant. It's gone into food automatically. Come out of there. Okay, uh, we're going to create a, a price uh, point later on. So I'm not actually going to deal with that one at the moment. So I'm just going to hit save. So we've put in the pasta. Now we're going to put in uh, the chicken. So we'll go with 252. Weight Watchers uh, chicken. Okay, put in your primary tax. And save. And then put in the third item. Which stir fry. Okay. Um, and put in your primary tax uh, as well. And we'll hit save. So we've put in the three items, uh, but these items don't appear yet on any submenu. And uh, so what we're going to do is create a, a Weight Watchers submenu and then put that submenu onto the restaurant menu. So we've saved all of these items here. So let's go to maintenance menu uh, submenus. And here we have a list of the four submenus that are available uh, at the moment. So number four is the last one. So we'll actually make ours number five. Okay, that's grand. Now we need to actually choose these items in here. So we double click on these blank squares and then we choose um, our Weight Watchers ones, which were a 250, wasn't it? Yeah, in here. So we've got the Weight Watchers uh, pasta. OK, uh, the pricing on here uh, will use a, a level price that will come in uh, later on. Uh, for the moment, we'll just go use item price and OK. So if we change it later, we can actually it'll automatically pick it up. Um, and in down here, we put in the second one then. And we put in the chicken, use item price and OK. And then we put in the stir fry. Use item price and OK. So we have created a submenu called Weight Watchers and we've put the three Weight Watchers items onto the submenu. Now, these still won't appear anywhere. We've got to put this submenu onto the restaurant menu. OK, so click on Save. So now we go Maintenance Menu Menus. In this particular establishment, there is only one menu. You might have a restaurant menu and a bar menu uh, and a coffee shop menu and uh, room service menu. Uh, we only have one in this establishment, so that's fine. So the restaurant menu is already selected. And in here, we double click in here and we add in the Weight Watchers number five. The Weight Watchers one is added in. So now in the EPOS environment, when I click on Weight Watchers, out will come the three Weight Watchers items, uh, the pasta, the stir fry and the chicken and we click on save. Okay, that's the end of this video.